Damn it. Damn it. I got shot right in my keister. I got shot right in my keister. Go that way. Go get somebody. That thing never kills nobody for me. Oh, I got it. I got to kill. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm talking junk. What's going on, guys? It's GS bringing you guys another online ranked Madden match. The beginning clip was a uh, small clip of the new uh, Black Ops upload that I have on my new channel, annotation above. Description in the link. Check it out if you guys haven't already. As you see, 41 thumbs up for the Saints versus Viking games. So, as uh, usual, we have been going doing for the last couple of days. We're getting straight into the games that I have left, and we will go ahead and um, you know I read those off, and you guys can let me know which game you guys would prefer to see next. So, uh, as you see, 41 thumbs up have been chosen for this game right here. And before I read them off, um, really quickly, there is um, um, some quick uh, scoring that you're going to see uh, coming up really quickly. So, you know, I don't want to miss that while I'm running off the games. So, uh, obviously, you know, game plan really simple with the Saints. Uh, you know, they have great speed with Spros. And really, it's just, they're really, you don't need a game plan with a team such as the Saints. Just... Just so many weapons, man. Just find the open guy. <laughs> it's really that simple, man. Um, you know, this is another dominant team offensively where uh, it really can't get carried away wanting to pass the ball too much. Um, as you see, after that huge gain from uh, Henderson, we end up getting stuffed at the goal line. So we don't score a touchdown. You know, we're forced to kick a, a field goal. And, you know, it sucks, but, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll take our three points. The Vikings don't have too many weapons for me to go ahead and worry about. So, I mean, Peterson and Harvin are monsters. Don't get me wrong. Right there, he hits me with a quick post with Percy Harvin. Two things I noticed on that play. One, that was a horrible user tackle or attempt of a user tackle. And two, he has Percy Harvin at uh, tight end. So, uh, whenever somebody does that, it can get tricky on getting that matchup just right to try and contain that. So, you know, um, whenever somebody puts somebody at uh, the tight end slot, especially a dominant receiver such as Harvin or I, I face Deshaun Jackson, it can't get tricky. You know, um, it can't be stopped. You have to put players in, in the right position, but it can't be tricky. Right there, we got another streak, and we end up scoring a touchdown, and we end up getting our first lead of the game. So we are up 10-7. to 7. Now, all I, uh, all I know is that, um, you know, he should be planning on running the ball a lot with Peterson when he's passing. Try and look for Harvin. You know, don't let him get behind the safeties and things like that. Very next play, his second play of the game, another touchdown. Just like that, the blink of an eye, a streak to Adrian Peterson. And I'm like, damn, this guy's using his speed well. <laughs> um, let's get into the games that I have left, guys. Go ahead and leave a like on the comments on which one you guys would want to see next. Uh, again, quick example. First uh, team I'm going to name. That is the team I am playing with. Example, Cardinals versus 49ers. I'm playing with the Cardinals. Chargers versus 49ers. I'm playing with the Chargers. So these are the remaining games I have left. Let me know which one you guys want to see next. Cardinals versus 49ers. Chargers versus 49ers. Cowboys versus Giants. Cowboys versus Packers. Eagles versus 49ers. Giants versus Eagles. Lions versus Cowboys. Packers versus 49ers. Patriots versus Steelers, Seahawks versus Falcons, Steelers versus Giants, or the Texans versus the Cardinals. Go ahead and leave um, in the comment section which one you guys would rather see. If somebody already has that one already there, just go ahead and thumb it up. You know, whatever um, comment gets the most thumbs up, I'll go ahead and post that one next. And you guys have been super active with that, and I really, really appreciate that. You know, you guys have been leaving in the comment section which team you guys, you know, want to see. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really, really loving the participation you guys have and what I kind of decided to do and, and ask you guys which game you want to see but really quickly we get an interception right there we get a no soup for you my friend we end up getting an interception this time we decided to play a little smart I figured it's either Harvin or um Peterson so I, I kind of let the the safeties do them you know I didn't control the safety at all and we ended up getting a pick so right now uh, we want to capitalize but we're unable to you know we get sacked so we're, we're forced to punt him the ball so it's like the interception never even happened you know he has the ball again with an opportunity to take the lead and that right there is just not, you know not a good sign you know you never want to give away good opportunities to put points on the board especially after a turnover you know punting the ball back after a turnover hurts because you know uh 
getting turnovers really just doesn't come that easy in Madden 13. So, you know, you got to cherish being able to put points up when you are able to get a turnover. And unfortunately, I was unable to do that there, so that right there kind of sucked. Fourth and one, he went for it. We call a run commit, and he decided to pass. We ended up blitzing him. I mean, we'll take it. I mean, we were preparing for the run. He decided to back up and try to throw the ball, but we ended up hitting him before he could do that. He fumbled and we recovered, and now we are in great territory to go ahead and put up a touchdown. We're really close to the red zone. So, uh, again, Drew Brees has so many weapons, man. It's uh, Their overall has to go up from 79 to, you know, a lot higher. They did beat the Falcons, and the Saints are kind of on a roll now, and, you know, it looks like the offense is coming together again and this is one of the best offensive teams in the game of Madden you know as you guys know speed dominates the running back position you can have overall three but if you have a speed uh, or agility you know really really high then you, you know you're viable you can become you know legitimate playmaker for your team so uh, Sproles not only is he a good running back I'm not saying that he's just good because he has speed he's actually really good but in this situ in, in this case he also has speed which is really 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 good as he tries to go deep over the middle he ends up getting it and he ends up scoring another touchdown and he scored three touchdowns off of three home runs just like that you know uh pretty much have in mind what he likes to do he likes to look for peterson over the streak and he also likes to go to harvin over like a quick out route or post or slant you know whatever you guys want to call it um you know different variations of an out route that he's been running with uh harvin from the tight end slot so you know back to the saints man they have so many offensive weapons and you know, um, it's really, really, really uh, easy to play with them if you're good on offense. You know, like I can pick up, um, you know, I will struggle with more of a worse team. But, you know, anybody who knows how to play the game of Madden is good at football. You know, the Saints are one of the best teams in the game. You know, Drew Brees puts the ball on the money. You got Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Graham who's in the middle who's a monster. You got Sproles who's really, really good and very quick. And then you got Colston and Henderson. Just an all-around amazing offensive team as we end up scoring a touchdown. Well, Moore, who's another weapon I didn't even name yet. So, um, you know, I'm not looking to have troubles on offense. You know, I'm looking to have trouble on defenses and hopefully we can get a stop here you know we got a two possession lead you know it's coming to uh have the half is coming to an end so no big plays and we should be okay we should be able to enter the second um half with a lead as uh, he ends up doing another turnover to jenkins right there so uh you know that right there is jenkins second interception zoopies uh and Sproles right there gets a really 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 good run right there and we have an opportunity, worst case scenario, to kick a field goal. But obviously, we want a touchdown. So we go to Sproles on a quick little play right there. And we end up scoring a touchdown. So now we got a really good lead. We pretty much blew this game open. Now we're up 17 points. We really need to stop here. He ends up catching this Hail Mary catch right now. I don't know. But he gets tackled on the one-yard line. Kind of like the Titans. Was that the Titans versus the Rams? In the Super Bowl? Way back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Titans versus the Rams, I believe. Just shy on the one-yard line. But he does receive ball, so, um, you know, in order for him to have a chance in his ball game, he has to go ahead and score now. You know, and, and the crazy thing is, I, I don't know why, this baffles me. If you guys have any, I would love your guys' opinion. Am I the only, only one who thinks it's absolutely insane not to run the ball when you have such a monster with Adrian? He has yet to have a rushing attempt. I, I mean, if I've missed one, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I don't think I've seen a rushing attempt from him this game yet. He went for it on fourth down. He's unsuccessful. So I feel like game is pretty much over at this point. Try to kill some clock. Try and, you know, hold on to the ball and not make a turnover. We'll, we'll kick our field goals here. We'll take three points as long as we eat some clock with it. But, you know, back to having a dominant running back and not running the ball, that just, that's mind-blowing to me. It baffles me every single time. I mean, yeah, he was able to score on two streaks with him. But, I mean, you have Adrian Peterson in your backfield. You don't get the Vikings thinking, you know what, I'm going to pass heavily to Peterson. No, you get them thinking you should be able to have an effective running game with such a monster of a running back. You know, I don't understand why people play this way. And it's not like he's a level one. I'm going up against level, you know, four to sixes at this point um, when I was playing this game. So it's not like he, he's a newbie. He's a noob and he doesn't know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You know, he's a level four to six. I don't know exactly what his level is. I don't show it in the video. But um, I'm only playing levels four to sixes at this point. And, you know, he knows 
how to win. Obviously, he's been winning games to get to the level that he is. But how do you pick the Vikings and not run the ball whatsoever? I don't understand why people do that. Like, it makes me want to pause and send them a message. Like, you know you have Adrian Peterson behind you, right? You know you can give them the ball, and he can do a lot of great things. He's faster than everybody on the field. He's probably stronger than everybody on the field. The dude is a beast, but he's not running the ball. I, I just don't understand that. But he scores a touchdown right there and uh, kind of gives him a little bit of life. He ends up going for an outside kick, but we end up recovering. And I feel like that right there shut down any opportunity he had to go ahead and come back in his ball game because the, the Saints are so, just so deadly on offense, man. And as you guys know, that is definitely – my my expertise field is putting points up on the board. I just happen to have trouble stopping other people from putting points on the board. But when they pick the Vikings and they don't even rush with Adrian Peterson, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I mean, come on, guys. If you pick a team like that, run the ball. Uh, right here, we end up just offering him a concede. He ends up um, accepting. So we end up winning the game right here. We get 11 points. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Um, you know, subscribe to my new channel if you guys haven't already. Lots of great con uh, content over there. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. As always, it's your boy GS sending out peace. Go ahead and leave your vote for which game you want to see next. I'm out. Give it to me, baby.